So this is my next project. It's another pin box. This one's quite different from the last one I made. Uh, it is got moving parts. Uh, it's just three pieces of wood. Actually, I got a, a little bit more wood here, but I'll explain that in a second. So what you're going to have is this is the center part. It's going to be a, a working piece. Got this pattern. I'm going to apply to it and cut that out into these three pieces. And uh, I've got to drill some holes here and here for a hinge. I put a pivot, probably use some sort of a nail or something. Now, this is from Izzy Swan, who has a YouTube channel. He did this quite a while back, I think it's a few years ago. And I bought this pattern from him, and he did this on a bandsaw. And I thought, well, if you can do it on a bandsaw, saw, surely I can do it on a scroll saw. And the thing is, that's, that's a thick wood. It's kind of dense. Um, I've got to be careful cutting it and make sure I keep it uh, straight up and down and that sort of thing and nothing gets out of line from top to bottom but the, the, anyway this is cherry that's that's a piece of cherry this is a uh, walnut I'm going to use on the back side on, on the outside and that all match when I get done match this curve on top of the piece and then this piece right in here which is the cradle I have to cut that out like I did on the last one use a pin as a pattern and cut that out and then I'm going to put a, a, a false bottom type of thing on that. I'm going to use this little bit of a walnut to put underneath that underneath that cradle so the pin will stay in it. So that's the plan and I'm, right now I've got to uh, mount this pattern, get me a blade in the saw and see if I can cut it. Okay, I drilled me some holes for a little uh, pegs that are going to be like axles for this to pivot on. Um, I'm going to use some dowel. I've got some 1 8 inch dowel. Izzy used some uh, wire nails. I didn't have anything the right size that was long enough that would match a drill bit. So this is the critical part. I'm going to cut this mechanism. We've got three parts. I'm going to cut this. i got a number seven blade in. It's not real hard wood to cut, but it's not soft either. So I'm going to cut slowly and carefully so I try to keep everything straight up and down so the blade don't flex anywhere in there. So it's going to be a slow long cut and we'll take it very carefully. So about a fourth of the way through that cut I switched over to a pinned blade. It's the number 12 I believe. Uh, and it went a lot better. I was having a lot of trouble with that 7. Uh, wanted to follow the grain. Uh, didn't do anything that I can't smooth out, but uh, the number this is working really nicely and makes it much easier to cut. I was really having a lot of trouble with the seven, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this this top piece cut off and see if it's gonna be okay. I've drawn the outline of the pen. It's actually a pencil. It's from the same set I used in the last video. I've got a pen and a pencil. They're about the same size. I'm going to use the pencil in this one. And uh, I've drawn the outline of it on there, drilled a hole. I'm going to cut that out. All these pieces are cut out, pretty much sanded, not completely, but I got a lot of the, the rough stuff off of them. 
and uh, what I got left to do is cut this out uh, may do something about a finger hold on either side of here kind of help get a hold of it somewhere right in here maybe and I got to put a, another bottom on this to keep it from falling through but first and we'll cut this out and then we'll see what the next steps involve I cut a little bit off the bottom right here. I put this piece on. I'm gonna cut it around the outside to fit this little cradle. That brings that pen and pencil up with this uh, indentation I cut. Works real well to pick it up out of there. Okay, I've got these two side pieces. It's gonna go on each side of this little box. I've got them marked to match the flip top lid. I've got the holes drilled in them. I'm going to install these blind. They're not going to stick all the way through. At least that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to cut this a little long and then when I, I put them together I can sand everything down to match. That's the next step is to cut these and then I'll see about gluing this together. Well, it all dry fits pretty well and works. I may have to do a little light sanding on it to make it work a little better. <clears throat> but uh, it's hard to really test it when it's not glued together. I think it's going to be okay. But I'm going to glue this piece on first. Then I'll line these up in there and glue the other side on. I'll have to get those pegs all lined up. And then some finishing, make sure that matches. I'm going to have a little bit more gap in the center right here than I like. Something about it doesn't test to be, show to be out of line, but it uh, leaves a gap in the middle right here. A little bit on both sides, but more on one side. More than I like, but I, it is what it is right now. Uh, so what I'm going to start putting it together and see if I can make it work. Okay, <clears throat> got that side glued on. I've been playing with these sides, clamping them together. Um, either get this, this didn't drill perfectly straight, or I drill this hole off just a little bit. It's not much, but I've been sanding and adjusting the holes to try to get it to line up a little better. I think I've got it passable. It's not going to be as perfect as I want, but I'm going to try to glue this on and get it lined out where it'll work. So that's the next step. Try to glue it on and not get these pegs glued. I should be able to do that, but this is the only place I'm going to put the glue. So I've adjusted, like I say, I've adjusted this and i got to make sure I let it sit in the right place because this top piece wants to come out this direction. But I'll try to line that up as I glue it. Okay, so here's the finished project. It does work. Didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to. But it works. It opens and closes properly. And uh, you actually have to kind of uh, make sure it doesn't flip open and flip that pin right out of there. You can, you can uh, kind of get carried away. But uh, that's got three coats of clear enamel on it. It's been sanded in between them. That's a cherry and a walnut. So it works to pick the pen out. It's easy to get it out. The pencil, actually, that's a pencil. But it's custom made for that particular item because that's what I had on hand. Still one of that in that same set that I, that I worked out of the last one. It's a 
there, Halliburton, Halliburton Award for finishing a school. That's the pencil of the pen and pencil set. Anyway, that's this, this video. I'm going to call this done. I'm kind of pleased with it. It could have been better, but I, I learned some there that if I do it again, some things I'll do better as I go. Uh, and this was done on a scroll saw. It, it'd be much easier on a band saw. It's a difficult cut on a scroll saw, thus very doable because I did it. And the reason I did it is that's what this channel's about, scroll saw. So, yeah, band saw, if you've got a good, decent band saw, it'd be really easy to make this box. So, if you like that, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Help me out. <clears throat> you never know what I'm going to be doing next. If you have an idea of something you want done, we'll say so in the comments. And I won't promise I'll do it, but I'll at least think about it and look at it see if I can. I'll try almost anything. So, uh, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.